Detectives have ended a search for Moore's murder's victim, Keith Bennett, after finding no evidence of human remains. Archaeologists started searching last week after an author believed he'd located where the 12-year-old had been buried. A North of England reporter, Rachel Townsend, is on saddle with Moore for us now. Um, Rachel, can you tell us what police have said about this? Yes, yeah, sure. Well, first of all, you know, thoughts to the family. This will be a huge blow to the family of Keith Bennett, who once again have had their hopes utterly dashed. It is exactly a week ago since news of this latest search on the moorland behind me broke. You may be able to make out those forensic tents in the distance. And it came, as you say, after author Russell Edwards claimed that he had found the makeshift grave belonging to Keith Bennett. Now, Keith was just 12 years old when he was murdered back in 1964. He was killed along with four others by Ian Brady and Myra Hindley. Now, for the last week, forensic archaeologists and scenes of crime investigators have been digging up the area, but today they say no evidence of human remains has been found. They spoke specifically earlier this afternoon about a skull and potential jawline that had been discovered. And we are now utilising the knowledge and skills of a forensic image expert to put a standard anthropological measurement to the object in the photo to assist with identification. At this stage, the indications are that it would be considerably smaller than a juvenile jaw, and it cannot be ruled out that it is plant-based. Well, there will be some more analysis of some soil samples found, but for now, the search behind me is over. And tonight, detectives have reassured Keith's family, saying they remain committed to finding answers for them. Rachel, thank you.